It is important when working with solutions to be able to distinguish between electrolytes and non-electrolytes. And when you have an electrolyte, it's important to be able to note which are strong and weak, that is, which are completely dissociated and which are not completely dissociated. An electrolyte is a substance that dissolves in water, breaks up into ions, and therefore conducts electricity. That's why it's called an electrolyte. Non-electrolytes are anything that do not break up into charged particles when dissolving in water. That means they will not conduct electricity. All the sugars, all the alcohols, any other polar molecule that doesn't split off things like hydrogen ions easily is going to be a non-electrolyte. Obviously things that don't dissolve in water like benzene or cyclohexane or gasoline uh, they will they'll not even qualify for this classification because they don't dissolve in water. Electrolytes are anything that in water will break up into ions. There are strong acids, hydrochloric and the other hydrogen halide acids except HF, nitric acid HNO3, and sulfuric acid H2SO4. All of them are strong. They all break up 100% when they are dissolved in water. There are strong bases. These are generally the alkali hydroxides, which are very soluble in water, barium hydroxide, which is pretty soluble in water. All of those are strong bases. Any other base, like ammonia, um, magnesium hydroxide, that doesn't dissolve very well, they are weak bases. Soluble salts are always strong electrolytes. So for instance sodium chloride, which you're familiar with, but even things like sodium phosphate, potassium bromide, the uh, lithium acetate, they're completely soluble in water so they will break up 100% and they're strong electrolytes. Weak electrolytes do not give off lots of ions when dissolved. In fact, typically they'll break up into ions less than 5%. Our best examples, of course, are ammonia and acetic acid. Those are weak acid and base. The ammonia is a weak base, and the acetic acid, of course, is a weak acid, which is why, of course, you can use acetic acid in food, but you're not going to put hydrochloric acid in your food. You can, well, using gloves, you can wash with ammonia solution, but you're not going to be able to wash with sodium hydroxide solution. So, here's a review quiz. Look at these formulas and label them electrolyte or non-electrolyte. And any electrolyte should be labeled strong or weak. So turn off the video, uh, do the work. If you need to consult the book, please do so and then come back and check your answers. Here are the answers to the review quiz. Ammonia, NH3, is a weak electrolyte. It's a weak base. Water is a non-electrolyte. Remember, there's nothing dissolved in it. Pure water gives off very, very, very few ions. And then here is a strong electrolyte because it is a salt, a soluble salt, sodium sulfate, Acetic acid, as you know, is a weak electrolyte, a weak acid, does not break up 100%. HBr, like HCl or HI, is a strong electrolyte. It breaks up 100% into water. And then here you can see the alkane chain, just carbon and hydrogen, and then at the end, OH, not COOH, but just the OH means it's an alcohol. It's got this hydroxyl group. That's not a base. This is an alcohol. It is a non-electrolyte.